Everybody, welcome to November 2023 Crown and Comments, the holiday edition. Man, have we got a lot of stuff to talk about tonight. And welcome to yet another episode of Crown and Comments with your host and resident Goldwing guru, the one, the only, Cruise Man. Brought to you by Cruise Man's Garage Honda Goldwing Maintenance Videos. Okay, Santa hat's coming off for now. Cruise Man's garage cap coming back on. I will get back to this here in a little bit. Quick update for those of you that are new to the channel. This is Crown and Comments, November 2023. I'm Cruise Man. I'm your host for tonight. And I am going to, this is a special holiday edition of Crown and Comments because I am going to later on in the B block, I'm going to go through my picks for what I think are the best Christmas gifts for motorcyclists. So during that, before I start that B block, I'm going to maybe, maybe you want to get your wife or your husband or your partner to come in to the room and you leave the room because I'm going to tell them uh, what you probably want for Christmas. Now, if you stay in the room, that's fine. Maybe you're going to buy it for yourself anyway, but I'm going to give you the 10 or 11, maybe even 12 things that I think are some of my picks uh, for, you know, what's on my Christmas wish list. Okay, just got back from Italy a few days ago, and uh, we were at ICMA. I'm going to talk about that in the next block. And uh, But we're home. Everything went well. Uh, today was a really, really good day. Let me define a good day for cruise men. A good day is when... I go to get my hair cut and they don't automatically give me the senior discount. That is a good day. Uh, and I, I, didn't, I didn't say a thing. I paid full price, happy to do it. Usually the girls automatically include the senior discount, but today they didn't. And I'm going to take that as a good sign that... Uh, so that to me, that's a good day. When nobody offers me the senior discount, that is a good day. So other quick personal news. Uh, you may notice I, I sound a little different tonight. Uh, yesterday, I got my new Invisalign, or I don't know if they're Invisalign, but they're these clear aligners on my teeth. And uh, I've got those in right now. So if I sound kind of funny, forgive me. Uh, I may have a little lisp. I haven't quite got used to them yet. Uh, they're not as painful as I thought they'd be. Uh, they're just kind of a pain in the ass to get in and out, but they take it's hard to get them out of there. But uh, I'll get used to that. I'll figure it out. So, you know, I'm doing all this. Get I want to get these, especially the lower teeth, straightened up because they're kind of crooked. And, you know, I just I, I want to be beautiful for you. What can I say? So anyway, as I started to say earlier, if you're new to the channel, Crown and Comments, we do this once a month. It's an opportunity for me to rant on a variety of subjects or just get you up to date on the latest news and information. Uh, mostly generally about the motorcycle world, but not always. Sometimes I get off track a little bit. The Crown refers to Crown Royal, my favorite adult beverage, which unfortunately on tonight's show, I will not be uh, partaking of because with these aligners in, I can only drink water. I can't drink anything other than water. I can't drink coffee, can't drink alcohol, I can't drink anything. But I do have it here. This is my prop, and trust me, as soon as this show is over, <laughs> this bad boy is going down the hatch, okay? So, I encourage you to get your favorite adult beverage, sit back and relax, enjoy the show. This is a time to have fun. Uh, so let's get started.
So as I said, I'm back from Italy, from Milan, Italy, where we were at ICMA 2023. Now, for those of you, I call it ICMA. I heard some other people call it ECMA. Uh, I don't exactly know how it's pronounced, but basically it is the largest motorcycle, motorsports, motorcycle show in the world. And it was... I knew it was going to be big. I had no idea how big it was going to be. I hadn't. I, I just didn't have a concept. I, I'm not sure I still realize how big it was. This complex was huge with several different halls. I think it used to be an Olympic uh, pavilion back in some former Winter Olympics where they had all the ice skating and every all this different. I don't know what it was. I just know it was gigantic, and there's all these different halls. And in each hall, there'd be a hundred or more exhibitors in each hall. Well, first of all, you may be wondering why I was even there. I was actually invited to this by Showchrome and uh, to be in their booth. And they have their booth was kind of a subsection or a little part of the Parts Europe booth. They had several different manufacturers in the Parts Europe booth, and Showchrome was one of them. And for those of you that don't know Parts Europe, Parts Europe is the largest distributor of motorcycle parts in the world. I mean, they distribute everything. It's unbelievable. So what they do is they sell to dealers. Uh, Showchrome sells to Parts Europe, and Parts Europe goes out and calls on all these motorcycle dealers around Europe and sells to them. And in the United States, we have Parts Unlimited, which is their sister company. And then in Canada, is Parts Canada. Huge, huge, huge operation. Uh, they, they, you know, they sell tons of stuff. In fact, we took a group picture at the beginning of the show and just the people, there's like 130 or 40, just people with Parts Europe and in that one booth uh, for that show. So it was pretty... Uh, pretty incredible. So I was there. I honestly didn't know exactly what I was supposed to do until I got there. And uh, as it turns out, they had a 2023 Goldwing on in our booth. And Parts Europe has all these sales reps, about oh, 100, 120 sales reps, maybe more. And one at a time, these different countries or regions would come around to all of these little sub booths, we'll call them, within the Parts Europe family. And uh, they would get trained on some of these parts. Well, my job was primarily to explain to them what these show chrome aftermarket parts that were installed on this Goldwing, what they were, what they did, what the benefits were. And so it was, and we'd have an interpreter because you'd have 10 or 12 reps come over from Greece. Maybe only two or three of them spoke English. Uh, but they always had an interpreter. And then the French would come over, 10 or 12 reps from France, and then 10 or 12 from Norway and Denmark. And it just went on like that all day. That was the very first day. So the first day I was primarily going over uh, all of these show chrome parts that were on this Goldwing for these sales reps so that they would better understand uh, what the value is of these show chrome parts. Now, you got to remember these sales reps, they rep a thousand different lines of products. So they don't know everything there is to know about every product. Plus, Goldwing is just one of the motorcycles they sell parts for. They sell parts for every brand of motorcycle. So it was kind of interesting, kind of fun, <clears throat> but it was a long day. And uh, the second day of the show was only supposed to only be motorcycle dealers. And then the third and fourth day that I was there, it was the general public. And then it just got crazy with huge crowds of people. Uh, the fifth day, uh, Ricky and I took off and did a little touring around Milan. And uh, there were actually three of us in the booth helping out Mark, who was there with Showchrome. And there was uh, Keith who is rolling on three wheels. If you're not familiar with his website, he's a Can-Am guy. And he um, he was doing the same thing that I was doing, but for the Can-Am, because part, uh, Showchrome makes parts for the Can-Am and the Riker. So he was going over the same types of things I was going over, but Can-Am related. And then another person in the booth with us was Martin the Vlogger, I'll talk a little bit more about Martin here in just a second. But if uh, if you own a Can-Am or if you're into Can-Am or Riker, uh, 
or Spider, you know, check out their channel. I'll put their channels on the screen and I'll put their channel down in the description of the video too. Make sure you check them out. Um, what were my takeaways? Well, first of all, it's obvious that motorcycling is much, much more prevalent and more popular in Europe uh, than it is in the United States. No, no question about it. There's no way anybody could put on a trade show like this in the United States. Nobody, they wouldn't have nearly enough participation. Uh, they wouldn't be able to get the brands to support it. You know, they used to have that progressive. Uh, before that, it was just the International Motorcycle Show or something like that. And then I think Progressive kind of became the main sponsor and they did that for two or three or four years. I don't, you know, I don't know now, but I don't even think they do it anymore uh, because they couldn't get enough of the manufacturers to support it in the United States. That's a real shame because uh, it'd, be, it'd be great to have something like that here. But unfortunately, uh, motorcycling is just not as prevalent. You got everybody in Europe, you know, especially in Italy, rides a scooter. A lot of people ride motorcycles there. It's just very popular. So what, what was interesting was that there was no Harley Davidson booth in, at the show, no Indian booth, and no Can-Am booth, surprisingly, even though we had a Can-Am there in our booth, and no, uh, no BMW. BMW wasn't even there, a European brand, and they weren't even at the show. I couldn't believe it. But you had all your other major players, Honda, Kawasaki, Suzuki, Royal Enfield, Triumph, uh, Zero Motorcycles. If you've watched my ICMA videos, you've seen most of them. Now, Kawasaki was there. I never found them. That's how big this show was. This show was so big, I never could find Kawasaki. And, and I'm sure they had a huge booth because I saw a lot of people walk by with Kawasaki shirts on and swag and all that, but just never... Uh, Never, never got to find the booth, so my bad. Uh, and I walked a ton. I walked, I think, 16, 17,000 steps one day around that show because my, my watch, which is not on me right now, my watch counts how many steps I do in a day. Normally, I do seven to 10,000. I was doing 16, 17,000 during that show. It was, it was that big. Okay. Oh, by the way, I have notes here. Uh, I always make some notes just because it keeps me on track hopefully. Uh, I do want to uh, thank some of the fans for stopping by on Friday. Uh, when I was in the booth, I did have some fans that stopped by. Max from Italy, uh, hello. Uh, thanks for stopping by. Massimo stopped by to say hi. Jean-Luc, thank you. I, I'm reading these names because I can't keep memory in the head. Uh, Camille from Istanbul, Turkey. And by the way, Camille brought me these he came with this big bag of gifts, brought me some neck uh, warmers, you know, like little, almost, I call them buffs, but there's these little neck warmers and they have gold wing printed on them, really cool. Uh, he also brought me this big, beautiful box of baklava. Look at this. Now you'll notice there's a few missing out of here. Uh, they are delicious. If you've never had baklava, it's a uh, kind of a Middle Eastern uh, pastry dessert. Very sweet pistachio and uh, phyllo dough. <laughs> I just love this stuff. I have to be careful. I can't eat too much of it. You know, i got to wash my figure. So thank you, Camille, for that. Uh, Rosa and Eduardo came by to visit. Got a little picture with them. Igor stopped by. I believe Igor is from Slovakia. Roberto stopped by to say hi. And Fabrizio. Now, I don't know Fabrizio. But he obviously is very famous in the motorcycle community in Italy and maybe even in Europe because he came by to meet me. And uh, actually, I believe Camille brought him by. And he uh, he also brought me a gift. He also brought me, I don't have it with me because it's in the laundry right now, but he brought me one of these neck warmers that I actually wore on the plane coming home. And he uh, is a very famous motorcyclist in Italy, and he's done, uh, does a lot of adventure touring on an Africa twin. I think he went from the northernmost place in Europe all the way down to Cape Town, South Africa, kind of a adventure rider, and I think he vlogs as he's doing these things, and uh, maybe check out his channel. I'll put it on the uh, on the in the links down below. So anyway, I appreciated him coming by. Thank you for the gift, Fabrizio. 
and uh, that's it. Now, Keith, I, I mentioned to you, rolling on three wheels. He is a Can-Am guy, and he's one of their Can-Am ambassadors. Make sure you check out his website if you're a Can-Am guy. And then Martin, the vlogger, has an interesting business. Not only is he a Can-Am guy, but uh, and, and Riker, he has a tour company, really interesting. It's a touring company in Slovakia, and he does uh, tours, Can-Am, three-wheel tours. So let's say you want to take a vacation for eight days. You fly to oh, Vienna, or there's several major airports that are very close to Bratislava. They take care of everything. They take care of the hotels. All your restaurants are covered. Your Can-Am to use for the eight days. And you go several hundred kilometers a day. And you tour that part of Europe. And uh, it just sounds amazing. He even invited Ricky and I to do one. I think it'd be a fun trip. And so, you know, if you're looking for an interesting vacation idea, uh, there's one. I'll put his information in the uh, description down below. It's toursonthree.com is his company. So if you're interested in that, you can look it up there. When we come back, my Christmas shopping list for 2023. You don't want to miss this because I'm going to tell you what products I think are the best for Christmas shopping. Hey, welcome back to Cruise Man's Garage. Crown and Comments, November 2023. Oh, wait, I forgot. I can't let you see my hair. It's embarrassing. Or lack thereof, I should say. Okay. I don't know. If you wear this, are you supposed to have the ball on a certain side? Left side gay, right side straight? I don't know. How does that work? Or is, is there? A, I don't even know. Okay, I'm going to play Santa Claus here. I'm going to tell you I'm going to tell you what the best gifts are. So if you are wanting your wife, husband, partner to buy you the perfect motorcycle gift, uh, you might want to leave the room, have them come in right now, pause the video where it is. And otherwise, if you're buying for yourself, that that's good, too. OK, I've got my notes here. First of all, uh, just so you know, Black Friday specials on Amazon.com started on the 17th. I'm recording this on the 17th. It may not get out till the 18th. So just so you know, uh, and I do have an Amazon link in the description below for my Amazon store. Uh, that does help support the channel. Just so you know, if you purchase anything through that link, doesn't cost you any more money, but it does support the channel. So uh, their Black Friday specials are going on right now. Now, my maintenance videos for the Honda Goldwing. Now this is just for Honda Goldwing riders. My maintenance videos, Black Friday, also starts today. It's on right now. You can save 20%. Now, some of you out there have been messaging me and telling me you've got a 2024 Goldwing on order, or you're getting ready to go pick up a 2023 Goldwing. You're going to want to get these videos because they're going to save you money. Because what these videos will do is they'll show you how to do your most common maintenance tasks by yourself with simple tools in your garage and save all that money you'd be throwing away on dealer labor charges. Did you know it's $350 to $450 at a Honda dealer just to change your air filter? You can do it yourself in your own garage. I'll show you how. I'll show you how to do your radiator, your brakes, you know, all your fluids, brake shoes, don't pay these dealers these outrageous prices. So not only do you save money, but you have the convenience of being able to get it done when you want it done. You don't have to worry about scheduling an appointment with the dealer, taking it to the dealer, dropping it off, having to have somebody pick you up and take you home, then having to have somebody to take you back and pick up your bike a week later or however long they keep it. And you have the peace of mind of knowing that the job got done right. Don't trust your $30,000 Honda Goldwing to some 19 or 20 year old kid that works on sport bikes and motocross bikes most of the time, probably works on three or four Goldwings a year. You can do these things yourself at home with simple tools. These videos will show you how to do it. Okay, that's enough of the plug. 
Another plug for my merchandise. You know, the, I can't believe how popular this merchandise has become. These caps. Uh, this is the Cruise Man's Garage cap, but I also have the popular Shadow Wing cap, all the Shadow Wing and Shadow Bagger t-shirts. I just introduced a couple days ago Shadow Wing and Shadow Bagger patches. So if you have a vest or a leather motorcycle jacket or a, any kind of motorcycle jacket you want to put a patch on, uh, you can just sew the patch on. Very cool. So... Check it out. I'll put links of all this stuff down in the description. Don't worry about it right now. Just enjoy the video. The links will all be in the description. But for Christmas, for the holidays, never done this before, 20% off all of my merchandise. 20%. It's the same promotion code. Black20 is the promo code. The video promo code, same way. Black20 saves you 20%. That's what the 20 is for. Okay. Next thing, break free. Some of you know I'm a big fan of break free, the safety uh, light that goes on the back of your helmet. Now, this deal doesn't start until next Friday, until Black Friday. But Black Friday through Cyber Monday, and it ends, it's only for a few days, you can save $40 off of the break free brake light. I'll put a link, a special link, in the description of this video. And I am a brake free affiliate just so you can, you know, just to be right up front, let you know right up front because I believe in it very much. I think it's one of the best safety items uh, for your motorcycle. But they're having this break $40 off either the white or the black. And that starts on uh, Black Friday and goes through Cyber Monday. I get, do they still call it Cyber Monday? I think they do, I'm not sure. My videos, my merchandise, the break free. Now my next suggestion is a product that, and some of these products I had on my list last year, and a few products fell off the list this year. And I've added a couple of new products this year, like the break free. I don't think it was on there last year, but it is this year. But one that did make a return appearance is the V8 Apex Tire Inflator from Fantic. I love this thing. It has saved me several times. I went out to my bike one morning. It was a cold morning. I went out to my bike one morning and my front tire pressure was only 24 pounds. I don't know what happened. And uh, I had the Fantic in my saddlebag. I was able to pull over very, very quickly, hook this thing up. It aired up my tire, got me home safe. Uh, I'm a firm believer in the Fantic V8 Apex Tire Inflator. I love the product. It's small enough to keep in your saddlebag. They now offer it with this little carrying case. You don't have to have it, but I think it's a nice, a nice little addition. And I think they've got some sale pricing going for Black Friday and for the holidays too. So check out the links in the description. And again, I'm a Fantic affiliate. You know, nope, not trying to hide anything. Now, the next item is an item that was on last year's list too, and that is this Blaster Sidekick uh, blower. It's like a blow dryer for your motorcycle, and this makes drying off the bike after you wash it much, much, much easier. It shoots out really strong jet of warm air and just blows the water right off. Especially great for getting in those areas that you can't really get to with a rag or a towel, and there's a lot of those places on a Goldwing. I, they sell them on Amazon. I'll put a link in the description. Okay, next is the Sh Show Chrome Saddlebag Lid Liners. I love these things. These things are great for putting all your tools in, extra pair of gloves. I even, I even have a, a motorcycle jacket liner that I roll up and put into one of them. So I really like them, and they come out. They go in with Velcro. They pop out real easily. If you're staying in a hotel, you can rip them out take them in with you. Okay, now another return from last year is the Pro Gear Mobile Rolling Seat. This is, if you're working in the garage, you're always needing to roll around. I love this thing. I use it every time I'm in the garage. It's very comfortable. I love that it's got the little tool tray underneath and it, you can spin that tool tray to get to what you need. Great, great product. It's been, I think it's the third year. I've had it for at least three years now. 
it's held up very, very well. I even sometimes take it out in the driveway, and I've got an aggregate driveway that's kind of rough, but it, it holds up fine. It's been very tough. Now, a new item that I'm adding to the list this year, it's called the Gauntlet Drying Towel from the Rag Company. They sell these on Amazon, link in the description. This thing is super absorbent. It's a special microfiber, very soft, very absorbent. Don't think just because you're using microfiber that that means anything because all microfibers are different. There's different formulations, different combinations of fibers. I don't know all about it, but I will tell you this thing is it sucks up water and can hold a ton of water. I can almost dry off our Lexus SUV with one towel. It, 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 just at the end, it will start getting so full of water, I have to go get another one. I have two of them. But on your motorcycle, it'll dry off the motorcycle, no problem. And, it, and it's very soft. It won't harm your paint. It's just a really well-made product. The Gauntlet Drying Towel make a great gift for those of you that are into, you know, keeping your bikes in perfect shape. Now, let's talk about Pathfinder LED. Uh, you know I love their products. I love their cowl lights. One of my favorite things. I like the lighted spoiler in the back on the trunk. I, I have a lot of uh, Pathfinder LED products. That, but rather than trying to figure out what you want, get a gift certificate. They have gift certificates on their website. You know, if you're giving this as a gift to a motorcyclist, maybe give them a $100 gift certificate, $200, and then let them pick out what they want. Same is true of Bond Body Armor. I'm a big fan of Bond Body Armor, and they are friends of the channel. They've sponsored some of my videos in the past. Great products, basically armored gear to protect you. I wear their uh, armor underneath my jeans and underneath my, I wear their armor in my jacket. I have an Olympia riding jacket. I took the crappy armor that came with the Olympia out, put the Bond Level 2, CE Level 2 armor from Bond. Bond Armor also has gift certificates. I'll put a link in the description below. The last thing I'll mention is a rather inexpensive item. It is that low profile oil drain pan. I put this on the list last year at the very end. I almost forgot it. But I use this thing all the every time I change my oil, I do use this low profile. It slips under the bike real easily and it's uh, very well made. I will put a link in the description of this video to that. So that is my Christmas shopping list for 2023. I hope you found it valuable. And when we come back, I'm going to talk about some new things happening on this channel and some things you might want to get involved with uh, as we move forward at Cruise Man's Garage. So stay tuned. Hey everybody, welcome back to Crown and Comments, November 2023. Oh, Christmas is over for now. Okay, we're back to cruise man mode. Okay, now I get a lot of messages from you folks, emails asking, what can you do to support the channel? Uh, very nice of you that you would even think of that, but I will tell you a few things because uh, believe it or not, this is a business. This YouTube channel is part of my business. The maintenance videos are a big part of the business. Uh, and I'm having to do whatever, you know, like every small business nowadays, you got to do whatever you, you can uh, to survive and to hopefully grow your business because there are a lot of costs involved. I'm just looking around the studio here. I think I've mentioned to you before, I got thousands of dollars of cameras and lighting and computers and microphones and all kinds of junk. So, um, Anyway, it takes money, and uh, I appreciate it. And uh, we don't make enough on YouTube advertising revenue uh, to pay for any of this stuff. I mean, that's the it's it's minimal. Uh, I'm trying something new, and I don't know if this is going to work. I've held off. I've thought about this for a long, long time. Amazon. I mean, uh, YouTube has been trying and trying and trying to get me to set up these memberships, what they call channel memberships. And I've resisted it because my fear has always been, well, what if I go through all the trouble of setting this up and, you know, five people sign up and then I got, you know, got to deal with it with only a handful of people. So 
let me explain to you what these memberships are. You basically, there's another button on the YouTube channel right next to where it says subscribe and you can join. And when you join, you're basically paying so much per month to be a quote unquote member of the channel. So what does that get you? Well, the first thing it really gets you is, I guess for those of you that for some reason want to support the channel, you want to do what you can to support the channel. So it's worth a couple bucks, you know, a month or whatever. And I think I have three, let me, let me look here. I've got three different levels. Yeah, I got a $2.99 per month. Uh, and, and what that does is it gets you a badge next to your name. So when you put in a comment on one of my videos, you're identified as a channel member. And the longer you remain a member, that badge changes colors, it changes identity. So you'll, and you'll see all this when you, if you do join, you'll see what that means. So uh, you're basically they're called loyalty badges because you've stayed a member for three months or six months or nine months or a year or two years, five years, 50 years, whatever. What do you get for that $2.99 a month? Well, you get the badge that recognizes you, but I'm going to reply to your comments and your questions first. You get priority over everybody else. If there's enough members, it may get to the point where the only people I can have time to reply to are the people that are members. Okay, so that's the first level. I, I just call that a channel supporter, and I appreciate that if you choose to do it. If you don't choose to do it, that's fine too. You're still going to be able to see the videos. Now, the next level is what I call a super supporter. A super supporter is $4.99 a month. Now, for $4.99 a month, what do you get? Well, you get the badges just like the previous level, but you're also going to get early access to all my new videos. So when I put up a new video, you're going to get to see it first. I'm not sure exactly how that's going to work yet. It might be 24 hours in advance. It might be 10 hours in advance. It might be three days in advance, but you will get immediate first access to the videos as a super supporter. You're also going to get photo, photos and status updates through the community tab. And I'll explain more about that later as we go along. And there will be some exclusive members only videos that only you will get to see. So there are certain things that uh, I can talk about with the members at that level that I, I don't want to talk about with the general public. Okay, now that's a super supporter at $4.99 a month, big deal. Mega supporter, mega, not MAGA, mega, mega supporter is $9.99 a month. Well, I'm going to be putting together a series of polls about the channel and you will basically, you're the only ones that are going to be able to participate in these polls and you will be able to help define the direction of the channel in the future. A lot of things I don't want to poll the general public about because they may only come to the channel one or two times a year, if at all, or maybe once in a lifetime you will be able to participate in those polls. Now, you'll also get the early access to the videos, just like the super supporters do. You'll get all the benefits of the previous levels, and you will get a discount on merchandise through my merchandise store and my videos. If you don't already have my videos, let me know in the comments down below, what do you think of this idea about memberships? Uh, do not think that I will think any less of you if you do not become a paying member. Live broadcast. Uh, Keith was trying to talk me into doing live broadcast. And you know I've always resisted this because I personally hate watching live broadcasts. I don't like that whole business of, oh, hey, Joe, how you doing? Oh, yeah, thanks for, thanks for, and then, oh, oh Bill, hey, welcome, Bill. It, it, it takes up the whole time. I just want the information. I don't want to hear them greet everybody as they come in. So my question to you is this, if I can figure out a way to do a, a, a more professional, well done live broadcast, maybe I'll have some get like a podcast, maybe I'll have some guests uh, that I can interview and we'll do a split screen me, maybe it's me and Kristen from Bon Armor, or maybe it's me and 
Don Smith, my friend Don, maybe talk to him or Robert White or some other YouTubers. I did one of these a while back with uh, Memphis Mike, but it wasn't live. It was a recorded thing. So let me know in the comments down below, would you watch a live broadcast if I have one? Because I'm thinking in 2024, I might want to do a live broadcast. And uh, please tell me, what's the difference between a broadcast and a podcast? I, I have no idea. I, I'm completely confused. I don't know the difference. I don't know what is the difference between just a video and a video podcast. I, isn't Couldn't this just be a podcast, what I'm doing right now? I don't know. Uh, the next thing you can do to support the channel, and the last thing I'll mention, is follow me on Instagram. I'm having a hard time building up my Instagram followers for some reason. And there's a lot of content that I'm putting on Instagram that you can only get on Instagram. The whole time I was at ICMA, I was posting photos of these beautiful girls, photos of the motorcycles, video, little video short clips and things that I can't really put on YouTube. So... A lot of content on my Instagram channel that you won't find on uh, YouTube. So if you're on Instagram, please follow me. I'll put a link in the description down below. Okay, that's it for my hawking my wares. I promise that's the end of it for tonight. Thank you for putting up with it. When we come back, your comments and my reactions. Hey everybody, welcome back to Crown and Comments, November 2023, holiday edition. Now we're gonna get to your comments. I'm gonna read them right here. These were posted, most of these go to the YouTube channel. Some might be from Facebook, but I think most of them are from YouTube. Okay, first comment, let's get it out of the way first. Joe Chilton says, I'm a Goldwing. This is a response to I think my last crown in comments where I was ranting about electric vehicles and that whole fiasco. Uh, anyway, Joe said, I'm a Goldwing and F-150 Lightning owner on my third electric vehicle, also an EV technician. Sorry, Chris, I'm out and unsubscribing. Well, Joe, sorry to see you go. Um, I have no ill will toward anybody that drives an EV. I just don't want to be forced to drive an EV. I don't think it should be government mandated. I don't think it should be government subsidized. Um, and I don't think it's going to do anything to save the planet. Other than that, I have no problem. If you want an electric vehicle, I think it's great. I think everybody should have that option. I think I, I think I don't think they should stop making them. Uh, so I'm sure that F-150 Lightning is an excellent truck for the two or 300 miles it can go. So, um, okay, Tom, I'm just going to call him Tom. The last Honda Africa Twin sold in the U.S. was the 2022 model. Ask if they are going to bring the 2024 to the U.S. Also, Honda has never sold the NT1100 in the U.S., Will they ever bring that model over from Europe? Well, first of all, let me say, I was unable to get in communication with anybody at Honda during the show. The booth was so crowded and so busy, uh, and I, I waited in line for like 15 minutes to talk to somebody. When I finally got up to talk to them, they don't even speak English, you know, because it's mostly Europeans and Italians. So I, uh, I, I don't know the answer. Is that true about the 2022 Africa Twin? Did they not sell the 2023 Africa Twin in the U.S.? Somebody will know down in the comments. Uh, put it in the comments, please. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if they're going to bring the 2024. And I was very impressed with that NT1100. I thought it was very cool looking. I wish it had a drive shaft. Other than that, they got the DCT, but it has a chain. And I wish it had a drive shaft. Okay. Anna Wyatt says, I was ripped off by Vimeo, lost $294 by purchasing you maintenance videos. I am a recent purchase. Don't buy the video, guys. I lost $394 and Garage Man won't answer an email. Okay. So she's saying she bought my maintenance videos. 
At first she says she lost $294, but then she said she lost $394. So I'm not sure which it is, which is interesting because my videos at full retail are only $249. So I don't know how you lose $294 when they're two. Maybe she just transposed her numbers. Anna, contact me. I think I responded to her message. Contact me. Just send me an email. Uh, info at cruisemansgarage.com. I will get back to you. If there, most of the time, if there's an issue with Vimeo, it's because people have more than one email address. And when they go back to Vimeo to find the videos they purchased, they try logging in to Vimeo with a different email address. And the account is under the other email address that they used to make the purchase. 95% of the time, that's the issue. Um, if there's another issue, I'm unaware of it. I've been working with Vimeo now for many, many years. And uh, Anna, I'm sorry. I Get in touch with me. We'll get it resolved. I promise you we'll get it resolved. Okay. David Debs. Uh, this is a long one, so I'm going to try to run through it pretty fast. Honda UK are an embarrassment to themselves. 2021 Goldwing, less than 3,000 miles. Decided to eat its valves. Nothing unusual there. Just YouTube Goldwing ticking noise. This is a response to the video I made about the ticking sound. Unable to use the machine to save further damage. Total breakdown. Uh, called Honda UK for help. They say no can do. You have to fix it at your own expense. I don't think this has anything to do with that ticking sound because almost every Honda Goldwing owner I've talked to, not everyone, but almost everyone has that little ticking sound on the on the right side of the engine, especially when the engine's cold. I'll let you, you know, if you want to read this entire message, you can. It's very long. Uh, uh, my supplier dealer did nothing wrong. They were excellent. Chucked under the bus by Honda UK. What a crazy situation. Wow, David, I am so sorry. that um, I have not heard of a Goldwing engine eating the valves, as you referred to it. I have heard of the engines having some catastrophic failure, but Honda took care of it. Um, I wish I could help you. I wish I could say I have a contact at Honda. I wish I could say that Honda has somebody that watches my videos and maybe they would see that this is not the best PR for them. If you have a 2021 Goldwing, it's just now 2023. So it should still be under warranty. Um, and I can't think of anything you would do uh, that would cause the valves to be damaged. I don't know if it's because the... I don't know. There's a lot of things that could cause it. So... I'm sorry, I, it's online now if anybody wants to watch it. Honda, if you're watching, Honda UK, uh, please help Dave. I'm sure in your customer system, you've got a record of this issue. So deal with it, please, for his sake and for all Goldwing owners. We all want to feel like our warranty uh, has some value. Okay, uh, Alton Elam. Did not see the Star Looter or the Venture in your walkthrough in the Yamaha exhibit. <clears throat> I had an Eluder 2018, loved it. Okay. Uh, could have very easily been there and I just missed it. There were so many motorcycles and it was so crowded, so many people. I didn't I did not get a chance to see every bike. So it doesn't mean that they don't still have it. Uh, or that it's not in the lineup. It just means I didn't get a chance to see it. So there are a lot of motorcycles in that booth, and I didn't see all of them. Uh, K-M-E-E -E something. I don't think the Yamaha Nikon is available in the USA. If it was, it would de I would definitely be interested in it. Let me know in the comments, guys. Is the Nikon not available here? I thought it was. Uh, I, think it was a, I think it was a cool-looking bike. So um, I don't. I don't know. Uh, OG Adventure says, what set, I think he means what seat do you currently have on your Goldwing now? This was in response to a review I did of the Ultimate Seat, which was an excellent seat, by the way, but somebody talked me out of it. I ended up selling it, and I now have the new 2021 version seat from Honda, but I took it to Wingsoft down in Bryan College Station and had it rebuilt. 
And instead of being able to sit on it for an hour on the highway, I can now sit on it for a couple of hours without having to get off and stretch my legs. Made a huge difference. David Edwards, looks like a lot of great stuff happening at ECMA or ICMA, and thanks for such good reviews of the show. I'm quite surprised that Honda did not have their three-wheel leaning Neo Wing since they are taking orders on it. It may be a spider killer, especially if it gets fully dressed for touring. Is the Neo Wing a real thing? I thought it was just a concept bike. I didn't know that it... Are they, are they really taking orders for the Neo Wing? Are they, are, in the U.S., are they taking orders for that? Does anybody know? Because if it's not a real thing and the dealer is taking orders for it, you might be getting scammed. I, I haven't heard anything about the Neo Wing, that three wheel, two wheels in the front. I've seen pictures of it, but I don't know if it's a real thing. Okay, if it is, let me know in the comments. Maybe somebody's put a deposit in on one. Okay, Sky Kitty says, you know, Chris, I'm your English friend who lives in Hearst, Texas. Not a bad video for you for a change, but wouldn't say your eye candy. Kind of ugly like me. Wow, wow, the hate. The hate. Where'd that come from? Welcome to the Freak Show. Okay. Uh, well, all I can say is, and I don't know your real name, Sky Kitty, but if you live in Hearst, Texas, you're not that far away. Come join us for breakfast some Sunday over here at Awake in uh, Carrollton. And uh, maybe maybe when you see me in person, you'll get the full effect. Swiss Croco said, thank you for that excellent report, Cruzy. But what about BMW and the other missing brands? Don't know. I don't know why BMW wasn't there. I think they missed a good opportunity. There's a lot of a lot of European brands there. Uh, Jacob Lynch says, I think it's Jacob Lynch. Dude, why you look so sick? Plus, nobody likes Hondas. You need to get together with Sky up in Hearst. Or does he mean sick in a good way? Like, man, that is really this thing is really sick, man. Is that what he means? When he says I look so sick, is that what he's talking about? I'm really, I really look great. What do you think? Is that what he meant? I don't know. I doubt it. Man, the hate, the hate. This is from Healy Life. I, I'm assuming this guy's a helicopter pilot because he has a uniform on with epaulets. Hi, cruise man. Been viewing your channel for some time now and love the content. I need your views on something which I am considering. I have a 23 1250 RT. Great bike. I have no issues with it. However, I like the 24 Goldwing and was considering it. I can't have two bikes. Do you think that the upgrade is worth it? I know it's a very general question, but would like your opinion. Well, Healy Life. I think I did reply to your comment, and I don't think I have a good answer for you because I have not personally ridden or tested the 1250RT. Are you listening, BMW? I get a lot of questions like this. I need to review that motorcycle for this channel. Um, hopefully, I'll get one in here this year and be able to test it, or maybe I'll just fly out to California where they keep their press fleet, and I'll spend a week out there, and I'll test a couple of bikes. Uh, I don't know. Being in Texas is not the best place to be if you review motorcycles because these motorcycle companies keep their press fleets in California or in Florida because that's where all the moto journalists are. Okay, I'm a freak of nature here. Uh, anyway, I don't know. I have heard very good things about the 1250 RT. So I, I can't really give you a comparison. I think since you've got a 23 year model, it's brand new, practically. Um, I would probably wait and see what Honda does in 2025. I'm not saying anything against the 2024 Goldwing. I love it. I love my 2018 Goldwing, and I think if you did decide to get a 24 model, first of all, if it's a color thing, 
if you if you don't care and you like the color of the 2023s, get a 2023 and save the money. It's the same motorcycle. They haven't changed anything. So unless you just want that white or that light silver, two-tone silver, uh, that would be my recommendation. Or keep the 1250 for another year and uh, see what Honda does in 2025. But uh, from everything I hear, the 1250 RT is a really excellent motorcycle. Some of you in the comments down below, let, let me know, because I know some of you do own uh, 1250 RTs. Uh, what, how would you respond? You, you, especially if you have a Goldwing and a 1250 RT, you are in a perfect position to compare the two. So Healy Life, somebody will answer that question. Okay. Thank you for joining me today. I know it's been a long video. I will have uh, links in the description of the video where you can jump to specific questions or section of the video. As always, I appreciate your support. I want to wish all of you a very, very happy Thanksgiving, which is coming up next week. Don't eat too much. Uh, I probably will, but that's another story. Um, I won't see you again until December where we'll wrap up, do kind of a year-end wrap-up on Cruise Man's Garage. In the meantime, I've got a couple of other review videos coming. I've got some motor vlogs coming. We actually have pretty nice weather here right now. It was like 71 degrees today and good weather. So anyway, thanks for joining me. I appreciate the support. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. That really makes a huge difference with our YouTube rankings and lets them know they need to spread it out to more people on the internet, helps the channel grow. Share the video with your friends, like and subscribe, you know the drill. Thanks for joining me, I'll see you on the next Crown and Comments. Until then, ride often, but ride safe.